Looking for a man called Bronte? Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon, opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them. I say that's the hey, can I get a drink here? America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, uh, hello. I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. No, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. This sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No.
Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. You better stop right now. Hey! Moron! Bye, mister. <laughs> oh, you also! Stop right now. You're making a fool of yourself. You give that back. You all right back there, old man? This is your last warning, boy. My careful. <laughs> Don't you touch me. Definitely a fruit. Since when? Way too loud. Since forever. I read it in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. Boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> oh. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. 
He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Getting robbed? Who by? A bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. <laughs> Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from... Real open country. Uh, buenos dias.